Um, hello, uh, I'm Emily. I don't know if I actually introduced myself the first time I made a video. Um, excuse the sniffing and I don't know what else I'll do, but I'm having an allergic reaction to my cat. So, yeah. Uh, I was going to upload a vlog um, middle of last week, doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, that was basically going to be like a setting up my little studio space at, in my bedroom. Um, on Thursday, I made the like very instantaneous decision to move back to my um, parents' home in Hampshire. So yeah, the the supermarkets are definitely full here, so that's, it, honestly, when I went in there, I just didn't really know where to look, what to get, and I was just like, wow, there's actually fresh fruit and veg, there's, there's toilet roll, there's potatoes. Um, other than that, made a cake. Um, here's one I made earlier. Uh, I'll link the, less, the recipe in the description, it's Probably the best chocolate cake I have eaten, or ever, and made. Um, yeah, project-wise, I have done nothing. Uh, I've thought about how I could uh, possibly take my ceramics into a home-friendly practice. Um, so... My projects on race and gender identity and how that is manifested within uh, modern day media um, understanding. Um, it's all basically triggered off L Germany um, as a prime example of misidentifying a model. Um, here uh, and yeah I came up with this idea or like this concept of a China doll um, kind of relating it to um, models and models and magazines and the magazines being like this buffer where you kind of you can look but not touch and you kind of get that with talking about racism and sexism um, and this fragility that they shouldn't really be talked about. Um, yeah, uh, and that they're seen and they're kind of fetishized to be like um, oh, women of colour being exotic uh, and yeah. Or like things being like, oh wow, I've never been with an Asian girl before, or never been with a black girl before. Um, and the China doll being a process of slip casting where you can produce replicas of the, you can produce replicas with slip casting. Um, the idea was to um, make personalised China dolls with women of colour, um, and which I would like interview, ask like, um, what do they do on their job, do you have any hob, not like ask about their hobbies maybe, um, and kind of uh, sh show a different side of women of colour because uh, it's typically seen like, oh you should be campaigning about, you know, women's rights or you should be talking about racism when we're just people um, which unfortunately some people don't understand um, but anyway yeah I was gonna make multiple oh China doll heads where I would alternate someone's face uh, plaster cast it and 3D scan it and then render it down like so, so here's my little face, and basically I would just make a slip cast out of this and put the slip cast over this like face where I would chop this off and like put this face on. So 
Yeah. Um, and also with this process, it's it's quite a lengthy process, hence why I've only got this, and now I can't do at all with it. Um, because I don't have a kiln. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, it kind of reflects how you maybe like, um, I mean, yeah, racism, sexism, it's a lengthy process to fight for your rights and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to find ways I could like make it home friendly. Um, so yeah, I was saying these documentaries would be like a supporting piece with them. Uh, I was also going to make a zine, but I think I might focus more on the zine and make like a little doc documentary or docu series making these dolls, depending however many I can make. Um, because Rose Sinclair, um, in the design office or design. Not design office, the design department, that's it. Um, I had a, a little tutorial with her and she asked me like one question that I just, for some reason, didn't even like, it didn't cross my mind. Um, what does it mean to you as a woman of colour to be, to like, go into a design space or to, you know, sort of be at uni? Um... And my mum had to leave the Philippines, well, like, she just left the Philippines at, I don't know what age, 17 or something? I'm not quite sure. But she didn't finish her studies. Um, and, yeah, it's just, you know, quite nice to be like, I don't know. Uh, sort of like... Or obviously, I'm not doing the same thing that she would want to do at university, but like, sort of. It's gonna sound terrible. What waving the flag? Um, but yeah, so I I'm debating whether this project could be like an ode to my mum, or like mums, or like. Uh, just actually anyone in general who's been. Who's, is it migrated or immigrated? Migrated? Migrated. Anyway, um, but yeah, um, I was looking through some pictures last night and came across this. Um, it's like the half of my mum's, uh, plane ticket from the Philippines. Um, and it's dated the 19th of May. Which is like exam time for us, um, but yeah. So yeah. Other than that, my home space is a bit weird because I've never worked here, and I, I just you know, I've noticed that I've kind of gotten into a relaxed mood when I came in home. Um, so I haven't been doing any work. But I did make cake. Um, but yeah, I'll put the little insert of the room tour, what I've got now. So I have, one second, I have, um, my hamster on the left of me, uh, a nice A3 printer, which is lovely, uh, so I can scan in some stuff from magazines maybe. Um, I've got my stack of paper, a stack of yellow paper, my Vogue magazines, the L magazine and all my books. Um, I have drawers full of just stuff that I might need, like tape measures, clay equipment. Um, and yeah, I've got my plaster and slip that I don't know how I'm going to use now, but oh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's weird because I got these, I had 19 plants in my other room, and yeah, this, this room is very bare, uh, and yeah, I decided to bring, well, I could only bring, like, the small plants home, so I decided to bring this plant that I was water propagating, um, at uni, 
I don't know if you might have seen it in Sam's video. So these are the little dyeing pieces that Sam gave to me and I've revived. Um, and I've planted it in this um, mug that I made at Ceramics. Um, yeah. And, oh yeah. So on Monday when everyone told, like, just pack up your desk, basically, uh, I asked Ellie if I could possibly nab a, um, well, she was offering out Chinese money plants, and I was like, oh, please may I have one? Um, so when I came in, the lot, like, the thing um, on my desk was this little Chinese money plant, <laughs> and it was like that scene from Wally where he finds that little plant, and he was like, there's life beyond coronavirus. Um, but yeah, Ellie, I've uh, reposted it in this pot that Isaac made and I glazed it because he didn't like it. Um, yeah, same course type of thing with this mug, but yeah. Uh, yeah. If I haven't put in a cake clip, I'll end this video on a cake clip. Hope everyone's well and stuff. Um, I saw that some people were feeling a bit unmotivated, um, and I kind of felt really unmotivated when I came home. Um, but I think it's fine, maybe. <laughs> no, it's probably it's fine um, to give yourself like just a few days of doing nothing or. I know doing something you might enjoy or you always wanted to do, so I want to make some bread and that. At some point I'll allocate some time to make some bread. But yeah, other than that, that's all I have. Bye. Meow. Ha <laughs>